Long, long ago, the world as we know it now was much, much different. We believed there was no land, just water and creatures of the water. But up above, there was a place known as the Sky World. In this Sky World, there were beings who were in some ways much like human beings are known to be like today. But they, in some ways, they were also very different. The beings in the Sky World had more powers and strength than human beings have here on Earth as we know it today. For instance, they could make things happen just by thinking about it. There was a tree growing in the center of this place known as the Sky World. This was called the Tree of Life. And on that tree grew many different kinds of fruits and different kinds of blossoms. And it glowed the most beautiful, radiant light that you've ever seen. The beings in Sky World were told not to disturb that tree. But one day, a woman who was expecting a baby asked for a drink of tea made from the roots of that tree of life. Her name meant mature flower or ancient flower. She is still remembered by that name when women sing a planting song. When her husband, who was the guardian of the tree of life, started to dig near the bottom of the tree to get at those roots, the dirt caved in and some say that the tree fell down creating a massive hole in the floor of Sky World. This was terrible. So the woman known as Mature Flower or Ancient Flower went to see what had happened. Some say that she lost her balance when gazing and fell into the hole. Others say that she was destined to fall through the hole and so she really didn't have a lot of choice over that matter. And still others would say that she was pushed. Nevertheless, she did fall and she grabbed with her when she was falling seeds from the roots of and around that tree of life. As she fell through, and because she fell through, many people referred to her as Sky Woman. Down below, all there was was water. There was a flock of water birds, winged ones, um, flying through the air. Some say that there were geese, some say that they were a mixture of different winged ones, so it could be blue herons or swans. Um, but the point of the matter is that the one, of them, one of them looked up, the leader of those, and said, there's a woman falling, a woman is falling. And he, he spoke to the other birds, and they decided to make a great blanket with their bodies and their wings and catch her on their backs to lessen her fall, to lighten the fall. Um, but she was too heavy. Uh, they couldn't sustain her and keep her afloat. So as they lowered her to the water below, a giant turtle spoke up and said that he could offer his back to her, that his shell would be able to support her. So that's what they did. This is the reason that sometimes now we know North America to be known as Turtle Island. Sky Woman, she thanked those creatures. She said that she needed land in order to survive and help other nourishment and growth in this new, strange and wonderful world that was full of water. She explained the sky world to these creatures and described the things that were in existence in the sky world and how she would need some of those things in order to continue the life here in this new world that she found herself in. One by one, the animals, the water animals, um, dove down to try to get some dirt from under the water. Some say it was the muskrat that was successful. Others say it was the otter. Um, the point is that one of those animals was successful. I believe it was the muskrat. So the muskrat dove down after several animals had attempted, a loon attempted, a beaver attempted, a otter attempted, and they all came up lifeless, breathless, and they didn't have anything to give to Sky Woman. But then that, that um, muskrat dove down. He was gone a really, really long time, and, and Sky Woman and all of the other creatures were really worried and concerned about Otter or, and about Muskrat um, this time. Um, those two animals took so long, and already Otter was unsuccessful. They, muskrat was kind of their last chance. Um, so when he finally came up to the surface, he was barely breathing. 
Um, he had very little breath left, but clenched within his paw was a little bit of dirt. And that was just enough dirt to give to Sky Woman. Um, so she placed that dirt on the back of the turtle and she stood up. She sang and she danced in a counterclockwise direction. And when she did that, the turtle shell grew and it, and it multiplied those grains of dirt, those bits of dirt multiplied as she danced and spread that earth out onto the turtle's back. She dropped the seeds from the tree of life that she carried with her as she fell through that hole in Skyworld. And they started to grow right away. When she finished dancing and singing, there was land and plant life as far as anyone could see. Some time went by, and eventually, Sky Woman gave birth to a baby girl. Some know her as the Lynx. Time went on, and the baby girl grew up with the knowledge and the wisdom that her mother had brought with her from the Sky World, and that mixture of Sky World and now this new world. All of that knowledge combined is what this baby girl um, held within her. She was told by her mother, Sky Woman, not to walk towards the west, for she knew something was lingering. But one day, her daughter did. A wind started to blow from the west, and a cloud started to move towards the daughter. She saw a weird, strange outline of a male being in the cloud, and she, she fainted. When she awoke, she found two crossed arrows lying on top of her stomach. She had become uh, the bride of the spirit of the west wind, and now she was going to give birth to twin boys. Those boys were very special. After all, their grandmother was Sky Woman, the woman that fell from the sky and began to create life as we know it here in Turtle Island. And their father was the spirit of the west wind. So these boys were very special. They could talk to each other while they were growing inside of their mother. And they didn't always agree with one another either. So when it was time for them to be born, the right-handed twin, Standing Sap, or Sapling, as he was known, was born in the usual way. However, the left-handed twin, Flint, or Great Swampy Elm, as he's sometimes known by others, decided to push his way through uh, his mother's armpit killing her um, and leaving her now, leaving those boys now with the grandmother to raise the boys. It was a very sad time um, for the grandmother because she was mourning the loss of her daughter and she was now tasked with the, the responsibility of raising those two young boys. So they respectfully buried the mother and from her head grew corn, beans, and squash, known as the Three Sisters, the Sustainers of Life. From her heart grew sacred tobacco, which is, is used when there's a desire to communicate with Creator and to create a connection to that spirit, that sky world or that spirit. From her feet grew the wild strawberry, which is known as the Big Medicine or one of our sacred medicines. And some say that the strawberry grew from her heart as it's shaped like the human heart. So even in her absence, in her, in her death, the mother of those two boys still made sure that they had everything that they would need to survive and sustain their life here on Earth. She is now known or called Mother Earth, and to this day she still supports all the people, all the animals, all the plant life that we have here. The twin boys, they grew up and they went about the task and the responsibility of carrying out that work that there was started by their grandmother. They created everything that is found in the natural world today. They made rivers, flowers, animals, plants, and eventually they created human beings. The left-handed twin, also known as um, the keeper of the night, and the right-handed twin became the keeper of the day. During, a creation of during this creation period, a series of errors happened. Uh, that the boys could not agree on how to create the world because they had such different perspectives. So they were competitive. They were competing against each other to try to create this perfect world. But what ended up happening because of their differences in perspectives was that there was a lot of balance that was brought to this earth, a lot of balance between the two perspectives. And 
and the night and the day and, and the sun and the moon kind of balanced out those things and those two boys and that, those perspectives really balanced things out. And so it reminds us to maintain that balance and to re to think about our responsibilities as humans to take care of all of creation, to honor and to give thanks for every single aspect of creation because we know that we rely upon all of those things to sustain our lives here. So we're reminded each time that we think about our creation story of our original instructions as humans to be guardians and caretakers of this, these lands and to protect our mother, our mother earth, and to take only what we need and leave the rest for those future generations that will need everything that she provides to sustain our lives here. And it reminds us again to our connection to creator and the sky world and, and the mix of those two worlds and what that means for our existence here. It reminds us to be thankful, to be humble, and to give thanks in all that we do and, and all that we enjoy here and to share that gift and that appreciation with you.